Look how far we come now. AFTV Young Guns, Bav, from 1 0 up to losing 2 1, England 0, no, sorry, England 1, Croatia 2. What happened? <laughs> I don't know what happened, man. I don't know where to start. Um, I don't know where to start. The defence. Well, let's be honest, when you've got Maguire, Walker, and Stones, they did the best they could. I mean, if I'm being on the semi finals, it's, it's all good at that, but I just feel a bit left out at the end. I think we could have done a bit more. Uh, maybe we could use something like Ruben off the cheek. We, but again, we definitely could have done with someone like Ruben Loftus Cheek. To be I, fair, I don't think switching Henderson for Dyer made much of a difference. They're almost the exact same player for me. First, if, I've, I think, if I'm being honest, I have no one to blame. Um, they all played well, man, let's be honest. Like, they did the best they can. Semi finals are good. Um, we did better than we expected, and that's all I really care about. But at the end of the day, I think defensively, yeah, we struggle. But again, we've got players that play for Leicester. You've, listen, but to be fair, Harry Maguire has been one of our star players exactly. this tournament. I think it was, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it was one of his, one of his mistakes that led to one of our goals conceded. But, I think, yeah. yeah, I don't know. First goal, I think it was, uh, I forgot it was Kyle called Walker. No, Kyle, Kyle Walker, yeah, but he yeah. could obviously could be in there. He's not the tallest player. Yeah. And second goal, I think it was Stones, actually. Stones. But right. I don't want to blame anyone. I think at the end of the day... We, but, but the point is, we should have done a lot better for them goals, you know what I mean? Yeah, we should, but at the end of the day, let's be honest. We got, we got as far as we could. Um, and if we got to the final, I, obviously one game can happen, but let's be honest, France were better than us. And they probably were going to beat us anyways. But uh, nonetheless, proud of the boys. Come on, England. Listen, four years' time, Qatar. A lot of this team is very young. We could still have the exact same team by the time we go to the next World Cup. If we have the exact same team, with all the, four, the next four years of experience that they do get, do you think we've got a strong chance? Mm-hmm. But first of all, do you know, before we get into that question, third place playoff, Belgium versus England. How are you feeling about that one? Don't really care. <laughs> come on, let's be honest. Who really cares about third or fourth? Mm. Uh, come on, it's first yeah. or you're nothing. First or nothing. I see what you mean. Listen, back into that Qatar question. How far do you reckon we can get in the 2022 World Cup? Oh! Four years. Four years is a long time. So pre planning. A, a lot of stuff can happen. <laughs> Maybe Reese Nelson might be in the first team. Maitland Niles might be in the first team. A lot of things can happen. But nonetheless, I mean, let's be honest. Next World Cup, Germany will be back. Spain will be back strong. France will be stronger. So If they qualify. Well, <laughs> let's be honest. I don't have any. I don't really have that much confidence. But nonetheless, today showed, and this tournament shows that anything can happen. If England get the right team around, the right manager, right system, you never know what can happen. But yeah, let's see what happens. Proud of the boys, though. So proud. It's not coming home, unfortunately. Um, bring it back here. I told you so. End it there. <laughs>